Are you looking for a new affordable watch? Possibly a Seiko that you didn't know you needed? Of course you are. That's why you clicked on this. It's the title of the video. I'm gonna tell you guys all about why I love the Seiko Sea Urchin. I think you will too, and why you should pick one up. Roll the intro. Actually, this is my first video ever, and I don't have an intro, so. Roll the B-roll of the watch. Welcome to Crowns and Grounds, where we talk about, you guessed it, watches and coffee. How original. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Seiko 5 SNZ F17, also known as the Sea Urchin. We are drinking some Starbucks Espresso Blend coffee. It's okay, it's okay, it's not bad. Starbucks. More reviews on coffee to come in the future, but, Let's talk about the watch. We have a diameter of 41 millimeters, a case thickness of 13 millimeters, utilizing the Seiko 7S36 automatic movement that has 23 joules. It has a Hardlex mineral crystal, water resistance up to 100 meters or 330 feet. Uh, we're looking at 46 millimeters lug to lug, a 22 millimeter lug width, and it also has a clear display back. Now I've owned this watch for about six months. I bought this used off of eBay for around $200 and it has treated me very well. Uh, this watch is very true to form in diver fashion. It looks a lot like a something that rhymes with Tomex uh, Submariner, but I wanna tell you guys why I think that this isn't a, a homage, hom homage to a Submariner. It just has some very subtle hints that kind of looks like it and kind of has that, that just that overall diver style. I was talking, it's really getting me tired. I'm gonna drink some more of my coffee. What? What in the world's on the bottom of my coffee mug? Look at this. Do you see it? Oh. oh, it's a like button. Oh, man. I guess you guys gotta like the video. Now, when you take a look at this watch, it definitely has some features that are relative to the Submariner. But in my own opinion, I think that this watch hones into just the basic dive style. We have the black dial, we have a black rotating bezel with a 60 minute timer on it. After that, that's pretty much where the similarities end with the Submariner. What I really like about this watch and its own personality is the day date feature on the dial with no Cyclops. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I'm not a fan of the Cyclops. I have a big bubble sticking out on the actual crystal. It just gives it more opportunity to get cracked, to get scratches. Not, not my favorite thing in the world. Now it also has its own type of hands. There's no Mercedes hands here. This movement is the 7S36 automatic with 23 joules. It's got a nice beat to it. Not a real steady sweep, but it looks good on the wrist for a originally $200 watch. Now I wear this watch almost every day. It's fairly beat up. It's got scratches all over it, micro scratches on the clasp, on the bracelet, on the case. This can be something that you can wear to work. You can wear it when you get home. You can wear it to work out. You can go for a run with this watch on. You can go for a swim, a dive. I really doubt that any serious divers are gonna be wearing this watch. But if you wanted to, you can go down 100 meters, which is, is a long way, so a, a lot further than I'd want to go. The furthest I'd probably go is about six feet in the deep end and uh, in the swimming pool. But I digress. Let me tell you about some of the bads or the downfalls of this watch that I, I don't particularly care for. So number one, there's no screw down crown. The crown is, is very, very small and it's almost hard to, to get in the position that you want it to and it, it just does not inspire confidence. Now secondly, with the crown and specifically the movement, there's no hacking, there's no hand winding, which is really a downfall of this watch and something that I really don't like. I wish it had that, if they would put a different movement in there or something a little bit more quality to be able to do the hand winding. It kind of stinks to have to sit here when you get your watch and if you haven't worn it for a couple days, sit here and, you know, do one of these things, hope it's wind up, set your date, set your time and be on your way. Now I don't have a device to be able to calculate how many seconds this loses or gains over a day, how accurate it is, but I can tell you guys this, I, I lose a good amount of time day to day, probably about five minutes. Uh, when I set this watch in the morning, if I haven't worn it in a few days, 
I tend to set it a couple minutes ahead because I know it's going to backtrack and it's going to set back to uh, the time it actually is. So that's a little bit disappointing. Now, unfortunately, this watch has been discontinued. So finding one of these is getting a little bit harder and harder day by day. I bought this on eBay used for about $200. It was sold to me as a demo that was in a store. It was in a little bit rougher condition than I thought it would be, but for my day-to-day -day use, I think it's great. You can still buy these brand new, new old stock on Amazon for a premium of about $300. You can find them used on eBay for around $200. This is a timeless design. This is never gonna go out of style. This is a watch that you can wear in 10, 20 years. It's gonna last a long, it's Seiko quality, it's good quality. This watch can be dressed up, you can wear it at formal events, you can dress it down. It's a sports watch, it's a fully steel watch. You can wear it around the house. It's good for any occasion. And most importantly, it is durable and it's reliable. Seiko is known for making great watches. The Seiko 5 is nothing to bat an eye at, and it would be a great investment to add one of these to your collection. On that note, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one real soon. Peace.